Hi guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. You're watching He Spoke Style, and today we're talking about five of the sexiest winter fragrances. Before we start, I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Scentbox for sponsoring this video. You guys know that this past year I've partnered a lot with Scentbox for our fragrance videos. I've really enjoyed the service myself. It's a great way to kind of expand your horizons and try out different scents every month without having to commit to buying a full bottle. You get two per month. I enjoyed exploring the Aqua de Parma line in the summer, and now with the seasons changing, I've been diving into some heavier fragrances. And one that I'm really digging from my December picks is this one right here. It's the John Varvatos Oud. So we have some cool stuff coming up with Scentbox. Next week, we're going to be doing a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. And we've also been talking about doing a special He Spoke style curated box for them, so my picks that would be available for you guys. Now, if that sounds cool to you, definitely let me know down in the comments and we'll try to get that going. All right, now jumping into my five picks for the sexiest winter fragrances. And I'm gonna start things off with one of my absolute favorites for the season. I've been wearing it pretty much every day and that is Danger Parfum Cologne from Raja Parfum. Now this is classified as an oriental. Top notes are lemon, bergamot, lavender, and tarragon. Heart notes, lily of the valley, jasmine de grasse, and violet. And base notes include rhubarb, clove, patchouli, oak moss, cedarwood, vanilla, tonka bean, leather, ambergris, and musk. Now, personally, I feel the top notes and the heart notes are a little misleading. Kind of makes you think that it's gonna be super fresh or flowery. And to me, Danger has none of those qualities. The base notes, I think, speak more to the fragrance itself. It's got a really deep kind of sexy scent. And although this is a modern fragrance, I feel like it has this really old school, sexy, elegant quality to it that makes it seem like it's been around forever. So this is a really interesting fragrance because I think it's really big, but it's also subtle at the same time, which I think really adds to the overall sexiness of this fragrance. It's perfect for every day. It's great for an event, an absolute gem of a winter fragrance. Next, we have Monsieur by Frédéric Mall. Now this is the second fragrance I've owned by Frédéric Mall. I've talked about the Bigarad Concentré before, which I love for the fall. This one here is deeper it's sexier, and you really have to love patchouli to be a fan of this one. On the Frederic Mall website, it says that this is virile with a twist. So obviously, it sounds sexy already. Also, according to the website description, it's for the man who wears a pinstripe suit with ease and self-assurance, whose highly sophisticated virility is tinged with artistic flair, and whose ruthless pursuit of seduction is somewhat of an aesthetic endeavor. I love a good fragrance description, and that one is super evocative, and I would say extremely accurate. You know, as I mentioned, this is a big patchouli fragrance. It's what hits you immediately. There is a little rum sweetness on the top, and then tempering the patchouli in the base, you have some cedar, some suede, and some incense. This fragrance is definitely more of a statement-making fragrance. You will get noticed in a good way if you wear it. For me, it's a great evening fragrance, especially for evenings spent in dimly lit, luxuriously elegant hotel cocktail bars. Next up, we have one by Parfum de Marly, and it's called Leighton. Honestly, I've been a little late to the party with Parfum de Marly, but after seeing so many of you uh, recommend it to me in the comments, I had to check it out for myself. So Leighton is a classic. It's classified as an oriental floral, top notes of apple and bergamot, heart notes of jasmine and violet, but what really shines through is the vanilla in the base and a little bit of pink pepper to balance that out. Now, whenever I smell this, it's like I just want to eat it. It has great projection, it's long lasting, it's very seductive, it's very sexy, and it's a very highly complimented fragrance. Here we have one that I've talked about before, it's Nanban by Arquiste. It's a woody oriental fragrance that is meant to evoke the exotic cargo in the hull of a 17th century ship. And that is honestly exactly how the notes for this one read. On the top, you've got Malabar black pepper, Persian saffron, black tea accord, and Chinese osmanthus. Heart notes, coffee absolute, Spanish leather, sandalwood, and myrrh. And base notes, we have frankincense, styrax, copaiba balsam, 
and Cade. It has a very kind of churchy quality to it from the frankincense, but it's also interestingly sweet as well, but not to the point of being cloying. This is a very interesting, sensual, and seductive fragrance. It has a huge projection. It's very long lasting. Another sexy statement making fragrance. If you wear it, be prepared to talk about it. Finally, finishing things off with an all time favorite and that is Black Afghano by Nasomato. This one is absolutely intoxicating, ridiculously sexy, extremely masculine. It's smoky, it's woodsy. They say it's supposed to smell like an opium den or a hashish. You can be the judge of that. Now, like flattery, a little goes a long way here. One spray will definitely get you through an entire night, and most likely, if you put it on in the morning, you'll still smell it the following morning. As you'd expect, it also has a huge projection. It's kind of like barrel-proof bourbon or navy-strength rum in terms of its intensity, so definitely apply sparingly, and also know that it does stick to your clothes. It's an absolute powerhouse and one of the sexiest fragrances I've ever encountered. So those are five of my picks for some of the sexiest winter fragrances. Leave your favorites down below in the comments. And remember to let me know if you would be interested in a He Spoke style curated box from Scentbox. Link to Scentbox is down below in the description. Thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.